And then on the other hand, there's a completely crazy person. Crazy, not crazy, just mad person, but a physically extremely strong, healthy person. And that shows it's a different. So anyway, these things are important to know. Where is it come from? What it is? Is it something brand new? Or is it old? So I raise all these questions. So I have to say something here. Otherwise I'll be raising questions, questions, questions. And nothing else for you to take home. <laughs> So, when you raise these questions, is it new or is it the, 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 the life itself? Is it new or is it something old? The question was asked to Buddha by the, the non-Buddhist people, as a Buddha. At that time, the Buddha didn't even answer. Buddha did not reply. Indian Buddhist professors make a great deal out of those. You know, once I was in Delhi, and uh, the head of the Buddhist Studies Department of Delhi University was uh, giving a lecture, and a very nice, great professor, giving a very good lecture, and uh, he's saying, when Buddha was asked, is there a beginning of existence? And he goes, Buddha came silent. <laughs> <laughs> really, a very big, very, so very. Huh? I'm sorry. What? What? It's almost Buddha is a total knowledge. That's what the tradition the text says. But the idea really is, what Buddha says is, you know, the consciousness, all kinds, we call it consciousness, Buddhist way. Christian, they call it what? Soul. But you know, Buddhist says there's no soul. I don't know why, but anyway. Because the soul has to be sort of a single, solid, permanent, and maybe that does not exist in the Buddhist. It is impermanent, natural. So, but according to the Buddha, you know, you know, is there a beginning of the consciousness existence? And the Buddha, the reason why Buddha came silent is way beyond people's comprehension. Way beyond people's comprehension. So it's no. The reality answer is no. So you know sometimes Christians tell you all souls are all souls. So very similar to that. There's no new born, according to the Buddha. No new consciousness. Every consciousness is old consciousness. Yet this consciousness is traveling by its own. I had always have a funny idea. You know, that is, you know, those Tibetan uh, eight lucky signs, those of you know, it's called something called endless note. Endless note, it's sort of, there's no end, it goes zigzag everywhere. And uh, it is almost uh, like a chart for the consciousness traveling. We all kinds of things. And then you have this genome chart, right? The gene chart that goes through. And so when you overlap them and then cut across, the consciousness occupies the body and their life became. When the consciousness separates the body, life ends. Yet, that does not mean this chart is gone. This chart goes vertically this way, 
the life just goes that way. So when there's overlapping, taking birth. And that's why we all become responsible for our son. Not somebody else's responsible. In other words, Buddha never said we all are created by Buddha. <laughs> <laughs>